Good morning, Phoenix High School. I'm Astrid Ernesto, and welcome to your second full week of school and second episode of PHTV. Remember, this week there are no more schedule changes till the end of the first quarter, so I hope you like your classes. And I'm Guillermina Rodriguez. Here's what we have for you to start off your day. Once again, we want to remind any students that need extra help or time with schoolwork to come by the Diploma Sem Center, room N105, for our after-school academic program, aka ASAP. This program is for any students who need assistance in getting their grades up or just, starting, or just staying on top of schoolwork. ASAP is Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday after school. ASAP has an activity bus as well that can provide transportation home uh, to any students who need it. See Ms. Pond in room N105 for more information. Also going on after school on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays is our VEX Robotics Competition Club. If you're interested in being a part of this club, come by Computer Lab A after school on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. The, school, the club runs until 4.30 and the ASAP bus will be available for transportation. See Mr. Rhodes for more information. Join Vex Robotics after school tomorrow in Computer Lab A. Another club taking place is our anime club. If you're interested in the anime club, the first meeting will be this Tuesday, September 20th at lunch in Mrs. Johnson's room. Meetings will be every Tuesday and Thursday in Mrs. Johnson's room. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Johnson or Sarah Norris. In Future Planning Center news, Financial Aid Night is almost here. Seniors and their parents are invited to attend tomorrow starting at 6.30 p.m. in the Commons. This is an opportunity to learn about the process of applying to, for financial aid, scholarships, and grants for college. Also, be sure to check out the upcoming events board in the Future Planning Center this month. We are hosting visits from seven different colleges throughout the state of Oregon. If you're interested in learning more about any of these schools, you must sign up in advance. Are you a leader in your school or community? Then listen up. This is an opportunity for you. Consider applying for the U.S. Senate Youth Program. This competition is open to juniors and seniors who are, are in an elected leadership role, for example, in an advisor rep. Two students from the state of Oregon will be selected to win a $10,000 scholarship and a free week-long trip to Washington, D.C. Please see Ms. House to learn how to apply. Juniors and seniors are invited to sign up for the SIU College Fair on Tuesday, October 4th. This free event will feature booths from over 100 colleges throughout Oregon and California. Phoenix High School will be providing free transportation to this event. Please stop by the Future, the future Planning Center to pick up a permission slip. Another important event happening this week is our open house. Open house will be from 6.30 to 8 o'clock this Wednesday, sep September 21st. Open house is an amazing opportunity for parents and community members to see what is happening at PHS, as well as help you set up for a successful school year. Be sure to come to open house on Wednesday um, at 6.30. Today, everyone has an opportunity to check out another one of our amazing programs here at PHS, our FFA program, led by FFA Teacher of the Year, Mr. Kennedy. They will be holding the, their Welcome Back barbecue tonight. The barbecue will start at 6 p.m. in the Commons. Bring family and friends and get the FFA year kicked off with a great start. In more FFA news, Phoenix will be offering free dues for the first 30 freshmen to sign up for FFA. This means you get to participate in FFA events and contests for free, and you get our chapter t-shirt also for free. See Kennedy, Walkup, or any officers for more information. Also, Greenham members, aka freshmen or first year in FFA, miss a day of school Monday, September 26th for the Southern Oregon FFA Green Hand Conference. See Kennedy, Walkup, or any officers for any more information. Our amazing and talented art teacher, Mrs. Rollins, is looking for any students interested in equestrian. Do you have a horse? Do you like to compete? Do you want to use your horse to compete in a competitive varsity sport with an opportunity to letter? Come to Mrs. Rollins' room at lunch on Wednesday, September 21st for a very important meeting in which attendance will determine if a team exists or not. In addition, starting this week, the Ultimate Frisbee Club will be on Thursdays during lunch. All skill levels are welcome. Meet in Mr. Golden's, Mr. Golden's room after room, okay, meet in Mr. Golden's room at the start of lunch starting this Thursday. Are you interested in traveling to Paris, Provence, and Barcelona in March of 2018? If so, there will be a meeting for any students interested on Monday, October 3rd at 6.30 p.m. in Mrs. Hansen's room. I know 2018 seems far away, but you must start planning early if you want to go. Once again, come on October 3rd at 6.30 to Mrs. Hansen's room to learn more about this amazing opportunity to travel and see the world. 
There will also be a DECA meeting on Thursday at 1229 in Mr. Carvalho's room. Uh, come check it out. In other fine arts news, the fall production for, PH for PHS this year is the Triangle Factory Fire Project, the true story of the worst workplace disaster in New York City up till 9-11. Today, September 19th at 3.45 till 5, Mrs. Brown will be holding audition workshops. Sign up, receive forms, and learn how to have a successful audition. On Wednesday, September 21st at 3.45 to 5.30 will be auditions. Thursday, September 22nd will be callbacks at 3.45. You will be notified if needed for a second audition. And rehearsals begin Friday, September 23rd. See Mrs. Brown in room S307 if you have any questions. Also on Thursday, the first thespian meeting of the year will be happening during lunch in Mrs. Brown's room S307. Any students interested in being the Phoenix High School student representative for our school board, please pick up an application at the front office. The student representative for the school board goes to bi-weekly meetings of the, Phoenix high school, of the Phoenix Talent School Board and reports to the news of the high school. If this sounds like an opportunity for you, go get an application at the front office after advisory. Applications are due Monday, October 3rd. Mr. McAndrews, our new social studies teacher here at PHS, wants to give out a shout out to all the AP Euro students who scored 100% on the first week map test. Great job and keep up the good work. Advisors, do not forget to give out ballots today so students can nominate this year's homecoming court. Collect them afterwards and deliver them to Mrs. Bryan's room or her mailbox for counting. So here at Phoenix High School, we have a tradition of dressing up like pirates on National Dress Like a Pirate Day. However, this year we are combining Dress Like a Pirate Day with Homecoming Week. Next Monday, a week from today, start off Spirit Week by dressing like a pirate. All students who dress up will earn spirit points for their class and a chance of winning Spirit Day at the end of the year. So remember to start off Homecoming Week the right way with Dress Like a Pirate Day next Monday. Speaking of Homecoming Week, this Friday we'll, we will be having an assembly to welcome everyone back to the school year and kick off our Homecoming Week in style. Also, for all you enthusiastic pirates, we are still accepting parade entries, so if you have any ideas, make sure to get them in as soon as possible. Entries can be as small or as elaborate as you wish. Get entries at the front office. The parade will be on Wednesday, September the 28th at, at 6 p.m. Don't forget to bring your school spirit. Especially you juniors if you want a chance to win against the seniors. Like, honestly, you're putting me in such an uncomfortable situation. Like, you know my class doesn't have spirit. Like, we're trying. <laughs> um, also, this year's He-Man Volleyball will be on Monday, September 26th at 7 p.m. In, in the big gym. Sign-ups are in the office for all grades if anyone is interested in participating. Powder Cove will be on Wednesday, September 28th, right after the parade on the football field. Sign-ups are at the front office for freshmen and sophomores interested in playing this year. Make sure to come out and watch the seniors take the win. Or you can come watch the juniors destroy the seniors. All right. Well, before we go to sports news of the day, we want to remind any students involved with athletics or after-school activities, um, if you have an unexcused absence during the school day, you are not allowed to pra practice with your sport or activity. It's important to be in class, so make sure you're at school in all your classes if you want to participate in extracurricular activities. Okay, let's see how our sports teams did last week. In soccer action, our boys faced Brookings Harbor but fell in a hard-fought battle against the Bruins 2-3. to three. Our boys soccer team have a home game today at 4.30 at Culver as we host the Hidden Valley Mustangs. Come out and support the team. In girls soccer, our Lady Pirates faced the South Umqua Lancers and left with a big 8-0 victory. Come see our Lady Pirates in action this Thursday at Culver Field. In cross-country news, our teams competed in Klamath Falls Wednesday, September 14th, where our boys placed first overall out of four teams. The boys were led by Robbie Voss with the time of 1859. Our girls placed fourth out of four teams and were led by Shayla Portratz, who placed uh, first place with a time of 22 46. Our cross country team also competed, competed on Saturday, September 17th, and Eugene finishing with two very impressive team places. Our girls finished in fifth place overall as a team and were led by Shayla Portraits with a time of 20 minutes and 55 seconds. On the boys' side, the Pirates came out in first place led by Robbie Voss with a time of 16 minutes and 46 seconds. Voss, Parker Cook, Jacob Bergren, and Nathan Watt and Ezra DeLuca all finished in the top 30 to help pace the team. Great job, Pirate Harriers. Our girls volleyball team had their first had their season opener last Thursday and walked away with the victory of 3-0 over the Mazalma Vikings. 
Good job, ladies. Make sure to come out and support their volleyball, your volleyball team this Tuesday as we host Klamath Union. On Friday, September 16th, our Pirates football team played against South Umpqua and competed till the very last minute, but unfortunately uh, couldn't overcome a, last, a late touchdown by the Lancers falling by a score of 26 to 23. This Friday, the team will be traveling to Mazama to start their league schedule. All right, Astrid, what time is it? Adventure time. Actually, it's trivia time. Last week's question was, which Phoenix High School teacher won the FFA Teacher of the Year Award this past summer? And the winner is... Brittany Martinez and Miss Ingersons. She said, Mr. Kennedy. Congratulations, come by Mr. Rose Room for your $5 Subway gift card. And this week's question is, what is Monday's dress up day to start off Spirit Week? Turn your answer in with your name and advisor's name to the manila envelope on Mr. Door's room, Mr. Rhodes' door for your chance to win a Subway gift card and make sure to stick around for the pledge. As always, this has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news.